like if your space can't be a safe space for you be a safe space for yourself i feel like a fart like but welcome back to the beyond shavion show and i'm your host shavion or a shavion show like i don't know comment let me know in the comment section y'all what do y'all like better yeah i have definitely been avoiding y'all and i'm so sorry like thank you to those of you who do come back to my channel who are subscribed and like really enjoy my shit and like comment that you enjoy my shit because like i that has to be feeling insane sometimes making these videos i'm like bro nobody wants to hear this but then y'all like bro we need to hear this so i'm like okay okay like maybe i am cooking here maybe i am doing something so i appreciate y'all if you're new here though and you're enjoying the vibe make sure you subscribe don't just like we need you to join the family so we can grow but i also need to like remember that like i can show up here even when i'm not feeling perfect and put together like i've been avoiding y'all so heavily because i've been so all over the place recently like i just feel like i'm in a weird transitional phase of my life i hate transitional phases i'm about to move into my own place by myself for the first time i am going into my final year of college i am not sure what's gonna happen after college like i had a goal for myself to be a full-time youtuber <laughs> by now and that has not come true um and i just feel like i'm so like all over the place like i have so many interests like i want to learn archery this year i want to do swim classes this year because i really want to learn how to fucking surf i want to travel so badly like after i graduate because like y'all we do not know how the earth is going to look in 50 years like i want to see mother nature i want to see gaia in her full glory right now because like bro it's very possible that we'll be the last generation to see the earth like this and it's just like wow 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 like that blows my mind every time i think about it and it just inspires me to like really just travel and see the world and like i've always wanted to experience different cultures and ways of living to you know no, just constantly expand my own mind and like my own beliefs but you know saying like I'm like thinking about that, but then I'm like, oh, bro, like, how, how am I going to make money? You know what I'm saying? You, you're not the full time YouTuber that you want to be. So, like, you know what I'm saying? You have to get a job. I have a nine to five right now. I'm getting offered a promotion, but I'm like, do I want to be tied down to this type of work? Like, I want to do something that I'm actually passionate about, but it is good benefits. But, you know what I'm saying? I will be secure. And ugh, it's just like so fucking much. Like, it's so much that I want to do. Ooh. <laughs> like i don't know i feel like i'm like low-key i've been like going a little insane i'm a fucking adult now so yeah you know welcome to adulthood <laughs> hey whoever's out there with me i want you to know that you are doing fucking fine you know like if you got your head just your chin you know what I'm saying just your nose above water where you could breathe you know we're doing good i've kind of been like running into like my little hole i've just been burying myself into a hole because i'm just not sure um of what the future is gonna bring for me and I'm nervous about living alone i've always wanted to live alone i come from a really big family i'm the oldest of 14 like i'm so used to there always being someone around um and it, it does give me motivation you know like to do things for other people so it's like i'm gonna have to direct so much of that motivation to myself i don't want to get a cat yet i don't want to I just want to like solely like just live and survive alone and I don't know like I'm nervous for that but I'm also excited because I'll have my own space to just fully be me and I feel like that'll help me to show up with you all um, a lot more authentically and consistently so yeah that's what's been going on in my life recently just a little bit all over the place y'all and I'm just really trying to fight off feeling like an imposter in the midst of all of this i've had a lot of negative beliefs about the world and myself like instilled in me like since i was a kid so it's been like just a challenge trying to challenge those things and trust myself in life that like i'm supported and that i am co-creating with god and that like i'm not just this i don't fucking know piece of shit <laughs> good for nothing you know motherfucker so yeah <laughs> that's where i've been i wanted to talk about loneliness in this episode but i also really missed y'all so i was like bro i'm just gonna finish doing these act shades that y'all submitted um so act is pretty much 
the form that I have, which y'all can find in the description. You can submit any type of questions that you want my perspective on. Doesn't even need to be anything serious, but y'all be getting into the deep nitty gritty, and I love it. I love it. I do love it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today while we take a little walk because I've been needing nature so bad, and I just hope y'all enjoy the scenery, the sounds, as well as the answers to the questions that I give. Definitely stay tuned throughout the whole video because I feel like. Um, the questions that y'all ask, I feel like they can be helpful to everyone. Those of you who I've done in the past, I I don't know, like, I'm like, that's my girl. Like, I, kn I know you. Like, I think Leia, she's one person that I remember that I did. Emma, I remember her as well. I remember I did someone. Damien, I don't really see you comment, but, like, I remember y'all. And I'm like, yeah, like, I want to I wanna do this more. So, so this question is from Marlene. Hey Shay, hey Marlene, I love your channel so much and grateful that you have been able to articulate so many shared intimate experiences and feelings. I guess my question is how do you navigate shame and people pleasing and fearful avoiding attachment style as a means of overcompensating or running away? The shame I feel comes from years of childhood trauma. As a result, intimacy is so difficult. I don't even mean sexual intimacy. I'm pretty much asexual in part as a result to trauma. If I even get a feeling that someone is attracted to me romantically, sexually, even the simplest form of intimacy is terrifying. Even if I know the person, even if I know the person well, the thing is that I want most is to be able to be vulnerable and intimate with myself and with another person. I guess the root of this issue is trust and fear of being perceived. Why is it so scary and shameful? How do I learn to not give a fuck and push through such feelings without feeling so yucky and gross? So I had to go through literally this same exact thing when I had to push past my sexual trauma that I experienced because it made me feel like such a gross person. Like I felt like my body wasn't my own for a while um, or for most of my life. And it really didn't start to get better until I really faced why i felt so yucky in the first place so like putting myself back in those situations where i was abused and like writing out in detail like how i felt in that moment um and just like what happened and i feel like the moment i wrote that out and allowed my therapist to read it it just lifted such a big weight off of me because I just instantly saw that like there was just no shame in what happened to me yeah there was no shame in what happened like so many of us experience you know sexual experiences before we already um or before we even want to and we put the blame on ourselves instead of giving ourselves grace instead of feeling grief for our younger selves I feel like humanizing yourself and giving yourself more love and compassion putting yourself in that yucky gross feeling like sitting in it and like giving yourself love hey you don't have to feel this way because what happened to you wasn't your fault what happened to you doesn't even define you what happened to you isn't how you'll continue moving forward and i also think just remembering that like so many of us have gone through the same experiences and you never know like that person who is attracted to you could have gone through the same exact thing and i don't know i feel like me opening up to my partners about my past and about my traumas really helps me to just feel so much more comfortable with them romantically and sexually because it's like wow this person can hold space for this part of me and not see me any differently and still love me like I'm so lovable like wow like I never thought that you know this could happen so I don't know I think inviting more people into that space like when you're ready but definitely being able to face it yourself is a really big step um, and just affirming to yourself you're not wrong and I also have videos previously where I talked about intimacy, so definitely check those out. I will leave a link to it. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps a little. Also, thank you to the people who just like drop little cute comments in here. Like, y'all make me so happy. GG, you're somebody that just left like a really nice comment in here. So thank you. <laughs> I'm happy that you've been enjoying the content and I hope 
that you are doing well as well okay this question is from yummy hey shay hey yummy i came across your channel the other day at such a crucial moment in my life i feel such a natural affinity for you as a person and i hope you get to reach more people with your kindness and what you have to offer as your audience grows thank you it's a bit of a loaded question but i'm gonna try my best to keep it short and cute I grew up in a dysfunctional single parent household, so as the oldest daughter, I got forced into the caretaker role from a pretty young age, with the elders around me placing extremely high expectations on me. Socializing with other kids was deemed as unimportant and family always came first. I became a victim of repeated CSA in that very same home, and now being a 21-year-old woman suffering from complex PTSD, I'm left to pick up the remnants, the remnants of those traumatic experiences with no support system my home situation isn't as tumult tumultuous <laughs> i promise i can read y'all know what i'm trying to say as it as it used to be and i now feel the desire to embark on my own journey of self-acceptance especially pertaining to my relationship with my sexuality and identifying as a shy black lesbian woman but do you have any words of wisdom for those who want to come into their own person but may currently not have a physical or emotional safe haven to do so? Ooh, such a good question. Love this question. Yes, because I actually had to come to where I am now with accepting myself and coming out in a space where I did feel super unsafe. So I completely understand um, where you're coming from. I think it's important to remember that that space isn't the only space that you have. Like for me, my car is has always been my safe space. I would cry in there. I would journal in there. I would go to the park. So just carving out spaces yourself or creating spaces yourself or like even if you can just do that in your room, making sure your room feels separate from the rest of the house and if you live somewhere where like your privacy isn't respected and people come in and out of your room or whatever i would definitely say like having like your car or like a park that you can go to where you can kind of just like let all your walls down also creating a space within yourself like with me i have created a like when I meditate, I envision a specific place each time and I go there whenever things just feel like way too much for me or even like just regular like prayer meditation, I'll go into that space and it just makes me feel so good because like in the middle of the day when I am dealing with things that make me feel unsafe, I'll just think, I'll imagine that place in my head and i genuinely just feel like so much support i hope that makes sense but like if your space can't be a safe space for you be a safe space for yourself like that has been what has helped me a ton and just making sure my mind is on my side whenever i am feeding into the energy of my environment that talks down on me or makes me feel limited i will stop those thoughts like literally interrupt them with hey but i am also amazing hey i am also worthy of feeling these feelings i also feel like making sure you're not dissociating in those spaces either like yes it is tough but seeing actively pulling out what you are learning like okay like this space makes me feel like this but what is it teaching me like what can i use these skills for when i am out of here and building your future like on those skills that you are currently learning you know, just believing in yourself being that safe space for yourself and just being your number one support system is i feel like would really help you but yeah i hope that makes sense and i hope that can help some Okay, so the next person is, I believe this is Kiki, K-Y-K-Y, -K -Y, I'm not sure, or Ki, Kai, K. Yeah, your question, <laughs> your question literally starts with like, I'm so sorry, this might be a long ass essay. Yes, the essay is crazy. So <laughs> we're going to paraphrase pretty much um, the question is around all the hetero norms that society pushes onto us and how it makes you feel uncomfortable to pursue relationships with women even though you are clearly way more attracted to them um, and having to deal with pressures from your family 
to you know go that traditional route to be honest i feel like you can go at this at a lot of different angles like i feel like i personally always like to start with self though because if you can gain that security in yourself where it's like i don't really care what the outside world is saying then it'll just make a lot of things way more easier for you so i feel like one knowing that like yeah it's not going to be traditional in the sense that where there's a man and a woman creating a baby but two women can create a baby now so um you can still have those kids you can still get married you can still have a house you can still give your family those things that they want and maybe that you also want but it'll be with a partner that actually makes you happy and that you actually want to be with so knowing that you can still um achieve those dreams and that like i don't know knowing that you aren't sacrificing things by choosing to follow your heart and date women and then just like also accepting the fact that like we're always going to be a disappointment in some type of aspect to our families like we're always going to be doing something that they don't want us to do like my family did not want me driving across the country by myself but I did it and it was amazing and they were so proud of me once I got back home and everybody talks about it now like it's it's, it's like a thing so it's like I don't know just remembering that like disappointment is just a feeling and that too shall pass but your happiness and your continued happiness is what really matters and i think like creating that strong foundation within yourself first and affirming to you that like there's nothing wrong with the fact that you like women um you don't even have to come up with all these reasons that you listed in your essay about why you don't like men as much it's okay like it's literally so okay like you just don't have a natural you know saying urge to be with them like it's nothing wrong with that you don't even need reason you don't need reason you don't need reason to love who you love to want who you want like you are so valid in your feelings and who you want in your space and who you want to be intimate with like it's really nobody's business is no one has a say in that but you um and i think just like remembering like that you have all the power in this situation and that you don't have to sacrifice as much as you think that you do so yeah that's my advice and i hope that helps okay that's the last one we're gonna do for today because i don't want the video to be too long i do eventually want to go through all of these honestly i've already read all of them and like maybe i should let me know how y'all feel about if I open it up to where I can respond to y'all through email because if I don't respond directly on the video, I at least want to still be able to connect with y'all. So let me know if y'all be interested in that. Like I just, you know, shoot y'all a little response via email or whatever. But yeah, thank you to those of you who submitted questions. I hope that my perspective can be somewhat of a weight lifter for you. A lot of times that's just what we need. We need the weight of a situation to be lifted off of us and having somebody to witness what we have gone through can i don't know can be that relief that we are looking for so yeah let me know in the comment section if you resonated with anything that we talked about today um and again let me know if y'all like beyond shavion or a shavion show because like i i just i can't decide also let me know what topics y'all want to hear me talk about because recently i've just been in a space where my brain is empty so like i don't know <laughs> right now what to talk about and i've been feeling like my content is just like drying up so help me y'all we trying to keep the community going we want to keep this going so help me out um but yeah thank you for watching i hope you all enjoy remember to subscribe like the video leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one bye